Someone stole a Ralph figure. But guys, looky here, looky here. They got the Ceratosaurus. Yes. I think that's the only figure from Wave 2 that I see around here. And the mass, the gyrosphere. here. Still got this T-Rex figure I love so much. Um, but nothing much else that I can see in terms of the battle damage figure. Same. Yep. But uh, they do have the Indoraptor here. I think I'm going to look at just getting this one today because I really want this figure and I don't see it that often. So think about just getting it. But, oh my gosh, this thing's so awesome in the real life. I mean, if you remember, I kind of complained about the Allosaurus teeth. These things are so much more improved. The teeth, let's see. Oh, that's a cool artifact. The paint's also much better on this one. I don't want to steal for this one either. But yeah, the, uh, let's see down here. It's got more of a sort of dusty kind of look to it, other than the Hasbro version. The feet look great too. Love the feet look. This is a really good figure though. And I haven't seen any other Roarvors lately, so I mean they've basically just sold out all the Jurassic World toys around me. So this is cool to finally see this figure. Oh my gosh, I want it! Really bad now because it's the Ceratosaurus and I love Ceratosaurus. It's a cool dinosaur. Only 12 bucks though now. So either I'll get this one or the Indoraptor, but I really want to get the Indoraptor because I just love this figure. It looks really good. It's got some glue stuck to the side of it. But other than that, it looks like a really good figure. I've been wanting it for a long time. It's really one of my favorite figures that's come out. But it's the only one here, and I don't expect to be seeing it again anytime soon. So I think I'm probably going to end up picking up the Indoraptor today. Probably going to have to borrow a little bit, but uh, it'll be worth it. But yeah, nothing much else. Let's go look at the uh, Marvel Legends and see what they got down here. That's some new. That's Hobgoblin? That is not Hobgoblin. Tell me they did not do that for the new series. That's Green Goblin. That is not Hobgoblin. No way. Never gonna say, tell me that. Nah. And that's what we're doing for the new series is Hobgoblin. The Venom doesn't look too bad. But that is Green Goblin. That's not Hobgoblin. Same figures over here. Koye. Ooh, they got the new uh, Wasp figure with the uh, Cole Obsidian build a figure, Black Dwarf, whatever you want to call him. Nice face sculpt of Evangeline Lily. Nice figure. And then there's the Cole Obsidian head sculpt. We can to see if there's any. No, it's just little dark pupils. There's the other figures you got to get Black Knight, Malekithia Cursed, Wasp, Ant Man, Black Widow, and Thor. Oh my gosh, please have Thor here today. I really want that Thor figure. But yeah, they got the Hope Van Dyne, or not. Hope Van Dyne gears up with signature stingers. Oh yeah, I forgot it's Hope. Why do I keep on thinking of Janet? OP or OG. Let's see, they got Polaris here. They got Dazzler. They got Vulture still. They have the holy crap! I didn't see that. They have the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh my gosh! I want to yield this. Look at the size of my hand to that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, that thing's beautiful. We got the time stone, the mind stone, soul stone, or is this the soul stone, mind stone, space stone, and power stone. No, that's power stone. That's the reality stone. Okay. Really cool. And then there's its little deformed stepbrother. Get my time, took my chances. We still have Rampage figures. I just saw Rampage, and I love that movie. Got to do an overdue review of it. I want to get these figures so bad, though. Big City Brawl sets because I love the Ralph figure and then the Lizzie one up there. Love those two figures and I really want to get them. Then I'd have to get George just to complete the set. I'm not really too fond of this figure to be honest and I gotta do a video about that with uh, how Leonard would treat the Godzilla figures because assuming they've done the MonsterVerse and everything for them, I assume they would uh, do the new Godzilla movie figures. I don't remember seeing that one before. Yeah, someone stole a Ralph figure though. I don't remember that one either. Oh yeah, I have seen this one before. But yeah, man, look at that Ceratosaurus. That thing is awesome. 
Cannot wait to see the Tyranodon, the Ankylosaur, and then the uh, Sukumimus. That'd be so cool. They only got two of them here, though. And I uh, really think I'm going to pick up the Indoraptor, so wish me luck and see y'all guys later. Change of plans, man. I'm beginning the Stegosaurus. It's on retail for 14 bucks. Oh. oh. Again. Hey, here we go. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I also want to show you this. We got a Proxima Midnight Funko over here. It's kind of cool. Plus the neighbor. The day has arrived. I have my first Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom figure. Uh, I promised myself that I'd ever see it in the store again. Hey, Maddie. She needs you. They're interrupting me again. Cat. I did not get the Stegosaurus on sale. Did not get the Ceratosaurus as cool as that toy is. All right, quiet, y'all. Oh. But I promised myself, because they've sold out most of all the toys. I haven't seen the Roar of Wars in except for the Triceratops. I haven't seen none of those in a while. And I haven't seen the Endoraptor in a while. And I really wanted this figure. I really wanted this one because I liked the possibility and everything of it. It looks like a really cool toy. And I just really wanted an Endoraptor figure. just thought it was cool. Uh, but I finally got it. So to show you all from the packaging, you've already seen this in plenty of other reviews, probably. It's kind of dark. Uh, the side there with the... Walkwood Manor, the sorry, it's still in the dark. But there we go. You can better see it better on that side. The rain and the forest top there. We got the bottom showing off the high clip on the tail. We got the back showing off all the cool stuff. With some other sets, don't do that. Some more information about the Indoraptor and its possibility. And there you go. Everything with the Indoraptor. So now we're gonna open this thing up. The problem with the cat is I don't care. I just want to get out of here. Oh, already. Oh, there's a cat that I want to stay. Cool. I don't want them. Catch them through there. Catch them through there. Catch them through there. Catch them through there. Catch them through Wow, look at that thing. That's wicked. Okay, Ben. I guess it's been on like that. My hand. I'll do a full review of it later on. Just wanted to unbox it. This, this is so cool. Getting the more of that raptor like pose. Got the head there. It can bend that way and up. Wish it went all the way up, face up, but that's fine. That's so cool. You got the nice feet articulation. Maybe I'm going to loosen up a little bit. If you want this to be the dominant leg or this one. I mean, that, that is really cool. <laughs> Man, there's the time to break out the... Oh, really? That's, that's how it works? More cutting to be done. All right, there's it completely out of the packaging. That little piece does not have a little clip-on thing, so I have to tape that on later. But uh, there's the other part of the clip-on tail. And uh, it is, it's rubbery, so I guess you could bend it to a tape. I'd like to get it like that kind of stance, you know, like that, but it's like that for now. So we'll just snap that on. Man, that's so nice. Is that a really long prong? I've never seen that before. It's kind of cool. There we go. There it is, fully completed Indoraptor. That's such a nice figure. Can't wait to do a full review of it. Oh, and she actually liked that. Anyway, the girls are gone, and uh, I got the house to myself for a little bit. Normally, I do this in Jurassic Room, but since I'm cleaning up and all that in here, I decided I'd go and do my review of the Indoraptor. I already showed you all the box and everything. This was actually a while ago that I got this toy, but oh man, oh wow, detail's actually pretty nice. Well, 
nice enough. You can probably see the eye just barely a little bit there. The dark red eye. Man, that is such a nice figure. This is honestly one of the top five best figures from the Jurassic... Probably one of the best figures in the toy line. Right up there, I'd say, with, like, the... Let's see, what... I'd say the Legacy T-Rex, the Mosasaur. I haven't seen the Mosasaur yet, but, uh... Let's see, what else? I really like the, uh... Why don't you look up? Why don't you look up? Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else? Maybe the, uh... The, uh... Hello. Oh, man. The Baryonyx I really liked as well. And the Ceratus horse is really detailed too, so that's probably another good one. But on oh, the Carnage horse as well. But honestly, this figure takes the cake. It's so well detailed. And honestly, I really wanted this figure after seeing the Interactor in the movie. Uh, man, I mean the the and this is actually my first toy, as I said. The and I'm a big I like the sculpt of things, especially with the feet sculpt. To me, I always like the detail of feet when I look at creatures and all that. And man, that's why I always like the design of the Indominus Rex's feet because they. I could look at it and see, man, it looks like a cassowary in a way. And you really see a lot of that with the padding uh, on this one. This one's a little lopsided with the claw, but it's not that bad. This one's actually a fairly perfect uh, look of the foot. Man, I really like the look of that. And it's got the long, skinny uh, joint here, which is like in the movie. And I love how the scaling turned out. They're, they're all trying to cuddle with me now. The claw, it's not a sharp claw, you know, but it's actually, it's its better than what we got with the Hasbro and all that. It's a fairly nice claw. Hello. Don't, don't. You, you can't go up there. Like a little cuddle bear. Yeah. Yeah, you, now you want to. Let's see, the quills aren't too sharp either, but it's not an overly, uh, not a big problem. It's fairly, it's still nice. The scaling on the back is really nice as well. The uh, the keeled over scales. And overall, the scaling of the skin itself. Oh, cat bike, literally. Uh, is really nice. Really reminds me of a snake, to be honest. Like, uh, raptorial, but also like that of a uh, mamba. That's why I keep on thinking. Like a snake skin, black mamba. And this is a very flexible tail, as you can see. It's just... And you plug that into the figure. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you want to... You want it to scratch you again. The hands are honestly one of my least favorite things, but they're not bad. They, you know, you got to pose it when you in the quadrupedal form, so they're not too bad. I like to keep them personally pinned back when I pose this figure, having them standing upright. That's really cool there. It's a fairly decent sized figure. It's over uh, 13 to 14 inches long. It's a fairly decent sized figure compared to some of the other ones. And then the Let's see, arms, legs, really love the legs. Love the sculpt with the feet as well, mostly. And it's got that really cool uh, color effect, stripe going down the side. I got those bright, really cool red eyes. And, um, you know, I love the, I think, I'm not too big a fan of the bulge here, but I know why they did that, so it looks, you know, it can always look right when it twists its head. It's very well detailed. Like, just those things for me to look at, I don't like, but overall, I don't blame them for why they did this. It's still a toy. It's not like a NECA figure or anything like that. Although, when they do the 6-inch collector's line, which I still need to do a video for, I need to do all that. I keep forgetting. I haven't really been feeling doing videos lately, but I'm finally remembering some videos I wanted to do. I gotta do my Meg series. I'm gonna do a week full of Meg videos once I get down to it, but I'm looking for a job now, so hopefully I get one soon, because my sister actually has a job. But anyway, uh, the, the head, I love the sculpt of the head, especially when it looks at you. It looks just like the Indoraptor with that, the, uh, like, eye, the shrink-wrapped eye right here. It's really nice with the little pit here where you'd see. And it look it's so very well detailed. And it look personally, I think it looks better than the, uh, what is it, the electronic version that's coming out soon. Because the, hello, the longer snout. The only problem, the biggest problem I have about this figure is the teeth. And they're really not that bad, I know, because they're play playable and all that. And I love how it looks when you just look at the camera. It looks like the Indoraptor. But I wish they were kind of just a little bit longer, you know what I mean? Just not as gummy, you know? It's little balls right here. And, and, you know, it's got that nice little joint here. I wish it would, like, go down and then look further out. But it doesn't, but it's fine. Hello. 
So it's a really, really nice figure. Honestly, I really, really wanted this one, and I promised myself that if I ever saw it in the store again, because, I, I mean, my local stores have sold out, really, of most all the toys. They recently got the... No, no, Dinah. No, Kitty. Recently got the Ceratosaurus in, so, I mean, it's a really cool figure. Hey, look at this cat. I'm cleaning up in here. She's rubbing on the table. But, uh, you know, this is the one I really wanted after seeing it the first time. And, you know, maybe for Christmas I'll get some more toys. But uh, after, hopefully after I get a job, I'm going to start saving up and buying some toys for some kids. For toys, uh, for the Toys for Tot, uh, what is it? Toys for Tots thing that I've been talking about for a while. And I'm going to do it. I'm hoping to, you know, I'm going to start working on that in November so everyone can see what we're trying to accomplish. And hopefully I can get, I've already talked to Clayton about it, Clayton Fioriti. And uh, trying to get Jurassic, uh, I'm going to talk to uh, Jurassic World fandom about it see uh, what he thinks but uh i talked to clayton he liked the thing so i think we both like the idea or he likes the idea so we'd really like to get some of these toys out from jurassic fans and get the uh, some less fortunate kids some of these awesome toys so they can have the same memories as you know you look at uh clayton just posted a, a photo really i think his third birthday i can't remember but uh he got a bunch of jurassic toys for his birthday and you know, Matthew Brando, when he does most of his videos, he shows clips from uh, his birthday uh, a while, or no, Christmas a while ago. It's starting to rain too. Where uh, he got a bunch of uh, cats and cups. But he got some Jurassic toys, you know. And I really, I think, really, really, really like the. Let some kids get their own memories with these awesome toys like we did. Don't you do it. I mean, all the animals are in here, right? You got, you got Dinah. You got to pick up these plates. You got the dogs over there. You got Dixie, Jasper the Chihuahua, and you got Winnie the little Pitwawa. Yeah, I probably haven't seen them in a while. I'm not a dog person, though, but I got to take them out a little bit, too. That's Winnie the Pitwawa or the Chibol. Hello, little D. I got stuff up off the table. And then you got Jasper the dad. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this review of the Indoraptor. Frankly, I gotta give this figure... Mm, rating the figure, I gotta give it at least a... 9.5 out of 10. Probably the only reason being... Oh, I almost forgot. They don't have much detail on the bottom of the feet. Just the, uh, you know, JW logo and the little scan code, which I'll do one day. Uh, and I'll do like a bunch of toys and do a scan code on the Mattel app. I recently downloaded some music, and uh, now my phone's full, so I can't really stop messing with the cat. Can't really edit down a lot of videos, so still working on that because I gotta get my Sharknado video out. I've been <sighs> meaning to do that because I mean that was a good reaction, <laughs> but uh, just also want to point out that I can't do live streams until November, like I said in the previous Irwin video. <laughs> oh dang, cat attack! Uh, so not till November fifteenth. I plan to do something really big for that day. And some more videos hopefully soon. Well, I got some spare. Hello. The little pudgy cat. But uh, yeah, I gotta give this figure a 9.5 out of 10. It's such a great figure. If you're a fan of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, if you like the Indoraptor, I strongly suggest you get the posable Indoraptor. It is such a well detailed and nice figure. But personally, I do hope. I'm gonna talk about the Mattel line in another future Jurassic chat before I do. I'm going to do a big Jurassic chat. You know, all the information since June that I have not covered, uh, I'm going to cover in a uh, big video when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, and then do another, a, an official overdue review of the movie when it comes out, you know. And probably get my in-theater reaction out. Hopefully it will stay out. I'll cut out, probably have to cut out some of the audio for the first seven minutes. Hopefully, if only, uh, if I do Patreon, if I can do Patreon, and I, you know, I'll do the thing as one of the, one of the, like, tier things will be you can react to videos, I think because they do that on Patreon, y'all can watch me do reactions to videos I can do on YouTube, you know, I can record, uh, videos from, uh, record videos from YouTube, like my reactions to Rampage and Ready Player One and all that, and I'll upload them to Patreon, and uh, y'all can watch them, you know, if you probably do, do the, because the, you got to charge a little bit of something. I'll probably only charge like a dollar or something like that, you know. I, I got to look into it, but I'd really like to do that so I can help 
pay for the animals and all that. You know, I'm working on getting a job to help for the animals and look at also work on getting a computer so I can start doing gaming videos. And that's a big thing for me. I really want to start doing gaming videos and all that. I mean, it would be cool because, uh, I mean, imagine Clayton, if I can go, I don't know if he'd do it though. Like, get Clayton Fioriti or someone, you know, like that on and like do a Bigfoot tag team. Go get that Sasquatch. I'd be missing with Sasquatch. But anyway, uh, maybe do reactions to like TV shows and all that on Patreon, like Irwin's. I'm probably going to be doing weekly reactions to the Irwin show. Only because I'm such a big fan of The Crocodile Hunter. And I can't wait to see what the series is like. But, uh, what do y'all think of the Indoraptor? I really love this figure. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to do a video about the Mattel toy line. The 19 new species are supposed to come out. The 6-inch collector's line, which I'm really excited for. Uh, although I get why people are skeptical about it. I really can't wait for it. I think it'll be really cool. If they, as long as they don't overdo it. They might. But I think if they only come up with a few figures a year, you know, a few series... Do the classic, the classic characters, do the new characters, and maybe do a few dinos, like, say, Dilophosaurus. Smaller dinosaurs, like Velociraptor, we already got Blue coming out. Maybe the whole Raptor squad, maybe. Or, you know, just Blue, and people can, you know, paint, uh, you know, you know, do the repaints of Delta, Echo, Charlie, the big one, JP3 Raptors, Tiger Stripe Raptors, all of that. And then maybe if you did a really big collectible figure, an Indoraptor. That would be so awesome. Like a collector line with the biggest figure being the Indoraptor. Because that's really the biggest like of the small dinosaurs you can get. And I think that would be a really cool idea. But uh, what do y'all guys think? I hope y'all enjoy this toy hunt and uh, review for the Indoraptor. It's such a nice figure. I highly recommend it. And I'm glad it's my first dinosaur. For my collection can't wait to put it up there because it, it isn't it has not even been in jurassic room yet i have kept it in the living room for like the past month because i play with this thing nearly every day i love the you know pose it and i put it up on my ma my mom's entertainment center mantle that's where it's been it's been like sitting here this whole time looking over the living room i love this figure so much it's a really nice figure but, uh, and what was, what I want to know, what was y'all's first Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy? And I also want to point out, I'm going to do reactions. I haven't really felt like doing reactions lately. I got to do the Spider-Man PS4 videos. There's like four of them out. New one came out yesterday. Uh, I'm going to do old Hobo Man's videos because I promised him, I promised him I'd do them. I'm going to do them still, man. Uh, among other things, I think I had some movie or trailer reactions to do. I can't remember if it, anything's come out recently. But, uh, and also work on my overdue reviews. I'm probably going to do one for, I got to do one for the Meg. I'm going to do my Meg series. It's going to be a week-long Meg series. So, a video every day of the week. And that'll probably be my biggest thing of the week. Or, you know, biggest thing for a while. And then, really kick up next month in September when Fallen Kingdom comes out on video. And, of course, do, uh, my overdue re review, or maybe even reaction, depending, on The Predator when it comes out. So, because I'm so psyched for that movie. I'm so psyched for The Predator. But, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, we're almost there. We are almost to the 2,000 subscriber mark. And that is so awesome. I'm sorry I can't do a live stream on that day. But we will do something in November when I, uh, you know, when everything goes by. Uh, or, you know, when the whole thing goes off and whatnot. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video, and, uh, can't wait to do some more videos. It's really felt pumped up. I've been cleaning in here, you know, because my family's a messy. Anyway, uh, but thanks for watching, guys, and let's hit the one, the, the 2,000 subscriber mark. 